It's Wednesday morning, the day before Thanksgiving, which is one of the busiest days in the kitchen for me. Although uh, my list got cut by one, my sister texted last night that they were gifted a pecan pie and they're gonna bring it. So that's one less thing I have to do today. I'm starting off by doing eggs in my Instant Pot for deviled eggs. I've talked about this before. It's one of my favorite things to do in the Instant Pot. You put one cup of water in the bottom. You can use the trivet that comes with it. I use this little OXO strainer that I love. I'm gonna do the 555 method, which is five minutes on high pressure, five minutes of natural release, and five minutes in an ice water bath, and then I will make a dozen deviled eggs. And then after I make the deviled eggs, I'm gonna mix up a dry rub for the smoked turkey. My deviled egg platter, sorry about the glare. If you've watched here before, you have heard me talk about my mom, how much I miss her, especially around the holidays. Her birthday was in mid-November. It was just a few days ago, and so I miss her a little more around November, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. This is another thing that I treasure. It was not very expensive, but it's a gift that she gave me a couple of years before she died. It is a deviled egg platter, so I use it every chance I get. I'm guessing that as there's many recipes for deviled eggs as there are people on the planet, the way I make mine is the way my mom and my grandmother before me made them. Very plain, very simple. I mix up the yolks with mayonnaise. I do use two kinds of mustard. My mom only used yellow ballpark mustard. I'm gonna put a dash of Dijon in it, some salt and pepper, then paprika on the top. I actually like mine with a little chopped pickle. I like dill and not sweet, so I'll probably make half of them just regular and then put dill pickle in the other half. And since my little plate only holds a dozen, that's all I'm making today. I have a fancy little um, cookie press egg filler that I usually use if I'm taking them somewhere to make pretty little designs in them since it's just family and I've got a lot more cooking to do today. I'm just gonna plop them in with my fingers. Every year when Tim smokes a turkey in our Chorborough smoker, we have used a prepared rub from the store. I looked in my cabinet, realized we had used it this summer on the ribs. So I'm gonna take one from the Chorborough site, take all the ingredients, mix it up. I am going to deviate because I cannot leave a recipe alone. We are very much enjoying this smokehouse maple. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in the seasoning. So I'm gonna mix that up next for the turkey. I'm gonna mix this up and leave it and let Tim taste it or smell it. He's got a better palate than I do and see if he wants to add this smokehouse maple or if we just wanna go from the one from the Charbroil website since we've got a Charbroil smoker. So on to the next one. I'm making a sweet potato casserole. I have tried to film this. I will try to share it. This is an old family recipe that I got from my sister. She got from a lady in her church when she was newly married that played the piano. This is a really good one without marshmallows. Mixed up some mashed sweet potatoes with some ingredients. Got it in a casserole dish. I've mixed up the topping. We're gonna add the butter and put it in the pan and we will bake it tomorrow on Thanksgiving. Prep work continues. I've got the sweet potato casserole made. I'm gonna cover it with a piece of saran wrap, put it in the refrigerator. I've got a nice slew of dishes piled up to do. So I'm going to work on those and then make the broccoli casserole. For tomorrow. My last thing that I prepped, sweet potato casserole, and now this is a broccoli cheese casserole. It's got broccoli, cream of mushroom soup, mushrooms, onions, it's supposed to have celery, I'll leave it out, broccoli, and a whole lot of cheese whiz. And I have filmed a video of this, hope to share it. If you're interested in the recipe, let me know. I think everything's done, I'm gonna do the last batch of dishes, and I might actually sit down and put my feet up for about five minutes, see what's going on. Tomorrow is the big day. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It's now 
about 6 15 on Thanksgiving morning so peaceful outside the smoker is going sun hasn't come up yet it's time to make the donuts oh maybe not the donuts just the turkey I've got this turkey that needs to go in that smoker basket and we will take it out there and put it in the smoker I also have a Bluetooth thermometer that I will put in it so that I can remotely monitor it as well as the, the thermometer that goes with it that controls the smoker anyway let's get started and get this thing smoking Tim's got Tom about ready. I didn't sleep too good because he cranked up the smoker last night. He said it didn't come on, so I worried all night long. Didn't sleep that good thinking, oh, it's not gonna work. We can't get the turkey and four or five casseroles in one oven, so we don't have double ovens. But he's fixing to go in. Gobble, gobble. I have dual thermometers. So we're twice as sure to make sure it's cooked. This one actually will control the cook time. This one will notify Tim so that he will not forget to go check the smoker. Oh, I'm not gonna let you forget. It's early, I can't talk. I'm not gonna let you forget. Well, thank you, Dee. So there's one in each side around the fire? Uh-huh. Now it's time to load right. the smoker. And it is smoking. Yay! We can use the oven. Yay! It's currently 35 degrees. 35 out here? In Inside the, the in smoker? The oh, in the turkey. Well, we got a long way to go to get to 165. So this one has, a, one of those thermometers goes right into the unit. It does. And the other one goes to the app for your iPhone. That's the temperature. The other one goes to the app for your iPhone. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was a Christmas present one year. Turkey smoking has commenced. Time to get everything else done. Oh, he's burned on the outside. He's not burned. That oh, is no. golden. Golden. We can see him in the sun. Inside he goes. Ain't it pretty outside today? It's a beautiful day to have Thanksgiving. 